Hello everybody, welcome back. Another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to turn anything into 3D with literally one click. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here is an example of this flat vector icon that I downloaded. Here's the original right here. It's just a simple little vector icon and you'll see here as I twir twirl him around, he's as flat as a pancake. The exact same guy right here has depth and I did this with one click using a simple free plugin. Let me show you how to do this. It's a piece of cake. All right, so the first step is you just need to download the plugin. It is completely free, as you'll see here. I'll, sh I'll put a link in the description. It's on motionnations.com, and it's called the 3D Extruder Free. <laughs> how about that? And all you got to do is just go down here, and then around here it says, yeah, in-depth installation and usage tutorial. If you get stuck installing it, it's easy to do, but if you get stuck, they've got a tutorial for it. Click the download link, presto. Also, I will mo note up front here, there is a paid version for $5. I did not use this version. I do not own this version, so I don't know how good it is, but if you've got the money and this is something that you want to do, then maybe it might be worth it for you. Doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to show you how to do it for free. Also, look at this. This is the bulldog in the image here, so you'll know that it's a flat image because this is the guy that I'm using. So anyways, let's go back into After Effects. I'll show you the next steps. All right, so we're in After Effects. I'm going to delete everything except for the image. So I'm going to delete all of this stuff. And here we go. All we got left now is this bully image. And if I click on him, there he is. There's our bulldog. And that's what we're going to be working with. So the first step, I'm going to create a new composition. I go to Composition, New Composition. And in this case, 1920 by 1080 should be just fine. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to be showing you the technique. Now, drag and drop in that image into the composition, into the timeline like I've done here. And presto, we've got the bulldog or whatever you're working with. If you're following along with me, it's loaded into the composition. I'm going to grab the handle, hold down the shift key, and I'm just going to make it a little smaller so it's easier to see. Okay, good stuff. Now, just for this, in, for this tutorial, I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid, and I'm going to create a white background solid. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And you'll see here we've got a white solid. And then I'm going to drop it beneath the bully. The reason why I'm doing that is because it's easier to show you the 3D effect against a white solid. That step is not required if you're following along. Okay, now comes the easy part. Go up here to Window, and under Window, if you go down to the bottom, once you've installed it, you'll see 3D Extruder Free down here, kind of under, underneath everything. I'm going to click on that, and then because I already had it open, I'm going to re-click on it. And this is literally a one-click option. I'm going to click on it, and presto, it's going to open up to 3D Extruder Free. Now, before I add and hit Extrude, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and make this a 3D layer. So if you don't know how to do that, all you got to do is click on this little button here. It says 3D Layer, and it allows this to be manipulated in 3D. I'm going to click on that, and presto, you'll see that we've got an X, Y, and a blue Z axis there. If you do not see this, just click on this button down here and you'll be able to see it'll open up some more tabs and toggles that you can put onto 3D. Now go to Layer, New, Camera. Oops, I hit light. I got to stop drinking during the day. Go to Layer. <laughs> go to Layer, New, Camera. When you do that, just click on any camera. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to click whatever camera it opens up and selects for me. Not a big deal. Now we've got a camera. We've got a layer in 3D. I'm just going to click on the bully layer and click on the button extrude. When you do that, you'll see this cool little rectangle pop up around it. I'll close this and now I'm just going to pull on this little yellow or this green handle and as I twirl it, you'll see here that it is literally 3D. That was all there was to it. Now, I realize you may get stuck at a step uh, somewhere along all that stuff that I showed you. It may be a little tricky in terms of installation. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will help you out and make sure that you get this installed and you can try this out. Finally, I will note here that it creates a null layer and under null layer, if you open it up, you get a few different options. You get rotations, you can do all that good stuff. You get different types of materials. But under effects, you'll see here that one that says Z offset. That's the one that allows you to make this a thicker or thinner effect depending on what you're going for. In fact, if we go all the way here, you'll see here that it's bulldogs all the way to the bottom, everybody. And if you go to the left, it's a thinner effect. So this is the one that matters the most, Z offset. So I'm going to make it a little thicker just for this tutorial. And there you go. Now, if I keep twirling it, finally, 
if you look at it directly from the side, you'll know that these are all basically just layers stacked on top of each other. It just makes copies of it, but it gives it the 3D effect. So that's how it does it. It's awesome. It's free. Thanks for watching.